This is a video working through how to utilize the Azure Machine Learning Endpoints within Power BI. So if you want to utilize pre-built machine learning models, you, will, uh, you can use cognitive services such as text analytics and vision within Power BI. But if you want to utilize the custom machine learning models, in Power BI, you uh, can use Azure Machine Learning, and maybe you have a central data science team, or maybe you're a data scientist yourself. In any case, the machine learning model will get trained, validated, and de deployed in the Azure Machine Learning workspace, and then you'll be able to call the endpoints that's deployed within Azure Machine Learning, and build your visualization in Power BI. So first, let's go over to Azure Machine Learning and take a look at what we've done there. So here we have built a weather prediction model using humidity and temperature, predicting how uh, the probability of raining. And I've built this completely using the graphic UI in Designer. So you can clean up the data um, choose your algorithm and then train and evaluate the, the model. Um, once you're happy with the model, you can deploy it to a real-time inference um, endpoint. At this point, Power BI will flow the data to the scoring model and then the um, output will get pushed back to Power BI. Um, if you don't like the graphic interface, you can also train and deploy your model in the notebooks experience, which will be completely code first. You can also use the automated machine learning feature within um, Azure Machine Learning, where you only need to upload a data set as well as choose a metric. And Azure Machine Learning will run through all the algorithms for you and choose the best model for you based on the metric that you've chosen. In AML, you can also manage your data set, experiment, pipelines and models and endpoints. We have deployed a endpoint using AKS clusters for this particular model. And we will be able to call that model in Power BI. So here we have humidity and temperature and we want to call the Azure Machine Learning endpoint and give us the probability of raining. So once we do that, um, using AADE, Power BI will figure out which machine learning endpoint you have access to. So in this case, we have access to this weather prediction uh, model endpoint, and we will need to choose the columns that's called bounding to the um, input that AML is expecting. And once we do that, Power BI will send the data over to the endpoint and it will get scored and returned back to Power BI. You can see it's returning as a record. This is because the result is actually in a JSON format. In order to pass that, you can click on the right um, top right icon and choose the columns that are important to you. In this case, we're interested in the scored probability, which is the probability of raining. So now let's go over to the Power BI report and build a visualization based on the results that's returned by Azure Machine Learning. In this case, um, the first thing we want to do is to tell Power BI that the probability is not a text, but a um, decimal number. So we can do aggregates and numerical operations on the field. And then we can drop in a visualization and then drop in the um, scored probability to line value and then have the humidity and temperature to the column value. Now you can quickly just see a visualization we have built based on the results returned by Azure Machine Learning. Thank you very much for watching the video.